Hello and welcome to our guide for the mechanical ventilation design summary forms. You'll notice that uh, there's three parts to this form. So there's first the, the project location as well as the contractors involved. And then secondly you'll find there's the heating and cooling system uh, specifications. And then lastly there's the contact information for billing purposes uh, for us to provide a quote if requested. So to begin, there's the project address. Um, you'll see the little red asterisk showing that it's a required question, uh, so you do have to put something in there. <clears throat> and uh, in our example here, we'll use an apartment building with more than one unit. Uh, in that case, there's a, a mechanical ventilation design summary required for each dwelling, so this will show how you can do more than one uh, in this case. So we have lists of municipalities within Ontario, so you can select your municipality. And uh, house model you can put in if you know it. Um, you'll notice there's no red asterisk, so you can skip this question if you need to. Um, here, if you've already spoken with us and provided your drawings, you can get by this question. Uh, otherwise, uh, you, you can upload your, your files right here. <clears throat> and uh, it's generally one at a time for each of these. If you do have more files to attach, you can simply add them here. Uh, preferably in PDF format. If you have, say, 10 attachments, I would suggest merging some of them so that they can be put in, uh, in more quickly. And um, also here you'll see, do you have more addresses? So this is in the case of an apartment with more units. Or if you're doing a number of homes that have the same heating and cooling specifications, um, identical builds, that kind of thing, you can put in different addresses and just request the forms for each of them. So I've put in uh, Unit 3 here uh, for, this, for this apartment building, uh, as it would require a different form. And then lastly, our contact information for the, for the builder or owner and the HVAC contractor. So now we'll be moving to the mechanical ventilation system specifications. And you'll notice that there's, there's often an unknown option, just in the case that you're not sure at this point uh, what equipment you'll be using. But for our case, we'll use uh, forced air natural gas. And um, you'll notice on the right, there's the orange uh, block that will show up. That's with further directions if you, if you need it for these questions. <clears throat> And um, there, I'll just put in some options, for example. And then here you'll see another red asterisk. This is an email for who we will send um, invoices or quotes to. So it's, uh, it's how we follow up with you from this form. Okay, and if you'd like us to call further, uh, if you have more things you'd like to ask us or we can ask you, uh, this is where you'd put in the, the contact for the project. So this could be, for example, an architect. Oh. And um, oftentimes in projects there's a number of people involved. There's the home builder who may be paying for the project and then the architect is, um, is maybe submitting the forms, uh, whereas the builder could be a, a good contact as well. So this question here is how would you like it delivered? So if it's by email, then um, if you want it to be delivered to a different email than the billing email, you can in input that here. The purchase order is for your own internal reference. And then lastly, there's um, a larger box here if there's further descriptions you wanted to add um, as well. Um, at the bottom here, if you'd like to have us send you a quote before you go any further, we can do that. Um, as people fill out these forms more than once, uh, there's another option here that we can simply start a new project without having to send a, a quote and we can, we can commence um, uh, quickly on your project. So just pressing the submit button, we'll get back to you in two business days and uh, thank you for your business.